is no stranger to tough roles. And for his latest project, John Sim is in Hong Kong playing widower Jonah in ITV's brand new thriller, Strangers. I've seen the promos for this. It looks so amazing. Good, right? But is his wife's death all that it seems? Mm. Before we chat to John, let's take a look at tonight's opening episode. Mr. Murray, there's someone to see you. It's important. Your wife, it seems, she passed away this morning. Hong Kong can be confusing. I've never been before. She spent half her life out here. She was blindsided by the collision. What? Why was that man looking at pictures of my wife? Answer my question! Please, Mr. Mulray. He knew who I was. How? She had left a voicemail. I've got myself in something. She was trying to tell me something. Meet her and you'll understand. Grief, Mr. Mulray. You can play tricks on the mind. Jonah, it's Sally. I don't know how to say this. Your wife's body, she's gone. Gone. Every memory I have of her is a lie. Wow. Johnson is here now. OK, I mean, that hooks you in right from the start, just watching that. And we won't obviously give away too much, but I do think we need to set the scene and explain a little bit about okay. what was going on there. So you, you are Jonah. Yes, yeah, I play a, a professor called Jonah Mulray. Um, who has been married to his wife for, I think, three years. Mm -hmm. um, they're both very busy. She works half the year in Hong Kong. He knew that before they got together. Um, and he's very busy. He's a lecturer, he's an author, and, he's, you know, and I, oh, he also hates flying. Right. So he never goes with her. He's never been over, even though she has bought him tickets, invited him. So it's sort of a double bluff that she did. Um, and he, the, the programme starts off with her um, uh, having a car crash, um, right. which we think is a, an accidental car crash. And he has to go over and identify her body, and that's how it starts. And when he gets there, he's in a whole world of um, weirdness. Yes. So how, <laughs> how much more? Because obviously, you know, we, we know quite a, a lot more about this. Yeah. Um, uh, how, how, much, how much more can we say? I don't know. There's, there's a corrupt police yeah. over yeah. there. I mean, it's 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 safe for me to say that she is was leading a surprising double life. Yes, I th we can say that. When he gets there, he finds out that she was living a whole life that he had no idea about and for a long time. We can also for for a yes a for long, a long, a long time. time. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and we can also say, although we won't say what it was. But uh, because he, uh, he doesn't have a charger for his phone, he arrives in, in Hong Kong, doesn't hear the final voice message that she leaves him That's right. until he's got his charger, charges his phone up, then comes, then come, he get the, the voicemail comes through. Yeah. And that in itself is another twist. That's a big shocker, yeah. yeah. And, that, and that's, that's what this is. I mean, this is, there are so many twists and turns, as you might expect from the creators of Liar that we watched and hooked us in, and that had so many twists and turns. Yeah. And this is completely different story, but very similar in the way that you really don't know what's going on. And as a viewer, we are with him all the way. Yeah, we yeah. find out as he finds out. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, Jonah is the eyes of the audience, really. So, yeah, you're right, as, as it unfolds and, and he keeps getting the rug pulled from under his feet, he's on, completely on his own over there as well. Mm. Um, yeah, we, the audience finds out um, as he does. So, you know, it, hopefully he will take the audience with with him on this um, well, the, twisty journey. The nightmare about doing these sort of interviews is that, you know, this morning, both sat down, we both read the story and think, oh, my God, I can't say it out loud, but oh, my God. Oh I know. My God, oh, my God. I know. So yeah. that, it's it's terrific. I mean, it really is it a nicker it gripper. It's a gripper, yeah, more more twist than chubby checker. You mentioned mm. then that, uh, that Jonah's uh, life, the rug gets pulled out from underneath him. But you've also said that about your own filming experience in Hong Kong, that that in itself was was very different. Yeah. Yeah, it was good actually for me. I mean, it's um, it's a very interesting place, Hong Kong. Have you been? No, never, never been. been. We'd never love been? to. It's um, yeah. It's, I mean, it just goes up. <laughs> it just goes up. Yeah. It's sort of neon, and it's an incredible place. So it's very, very, very different to here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, of course, it was um, good dim sum. Oh, fantastic! But after a while, enough of the dim. You know, it's. Yeah. You can have too much dim sum. I didn't know that, but <laughs> there was an amazing dim sum restaurant right next door to the hotel, which oh, we wow. went into a lot. And now I can not even look at a pork. So did you go oh, out really? and uh, look for uh, other, other food elsewhere? Was it, is it true that you actually went to see if you could find an M&S? There was one. Did you find one? Yeah, we found one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It wasn't that far. It and was, uh, and the, <laughs> the, the, the harps were playing when you found a specific restaurant as well. 
Oh, um, which restaurant? Jamie. Oh, yeah, Jamie Oliver restaurant. That was, that was near the hotel as well. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it was apart from the filming, and we went everywhere. I didn't... There was a circle around the hotel, and I didn't really go that far. And you didn't venture out? I didn't need to, really, because no. we went everywhere, yeah. Um, so, so that's, that's, I mean, brilliant, and we can, we can see that, um, obviously, uh, at 8 o'clock tonight. Um, the other nine thing you're doing is that you're... Is it 9 o'clock? 9 o'clock. Oh, sorry, I've written down it as 8. 9 o'clock tonight. Um, you're in theatre, and so this is just coming up to Christmas. It's Harrod Pinter Theatre from the 20th of December to the 26th. Of January, and so these are all sort of Pinter stories and yeah. individual casts doing each story. Yeah, yeah, they're doing all of Pinter's one-act plays right. for the first time ever, all in one go. So I think they start this week or next week. It opens um, at the Harold Pinter Theatre, and Jamie Lloyd is directing uh, lots of them, and I think Patrick Marber is directing one. Um, and yeah, as they've got this incredible cast mm -hmm. involved. Over the whole lot of the plays, there's an amazing array of actors. Well, this is why you got into the business in the first place. The yeah. Theatrical acting was what you wanted to do. Absolutely, yeah. Stage, yeah, yeah. And so, uh, so it, it must be, I would have thought, coming off the back of something like Strangers, where, you know, it's intense, you're, you know, sort of sitting in the makeup chair, um, uh, you know, sort of chatting to everyone, shooting everything out of sequence, it's all done pretty quickly. Whereas you've got something like this, you're rehearsing with the same mm. people for yeah. a long lead up time yeah it's a whole the, the camaraderie and the, the whole the rehearsal period is, is just wonderful and then of course it's live you know you're on stage and it's different every single night different audience you get that frisson of live theatre yeah it's is it nerve-wracking really nerve-wracking even even for you now at this stage you still get nervous yeah you? yeah and, and, and I always the first night I always get so nervous that I look myself in the mirror and go remember this Never put yourself through this again, <laughs> ever. I feel, I feel sick. You know, why am I doing this? Yeah. And then you get on stage, and of course it's fine. And you, and you love run. it. It's lovely. Yeah. It's and you are in, on the telly. You are intense drama guy. Yeah. So do you I'm need intense... a bit of comedy now? Do you think? Yeah, I do need a bit of comedy, don't I? I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to do any more intense drama guy for a while. I'm gonna... You say that, and then a great script will turn up, and you'll well, be like that. <laughs> they're always the best parts. Yeah. If you don't do it, someone else will. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, Strangers tonight looks amazing. Yeah, it really uh, at does. nine on ITV, and as we were saying, Harold Pinter Theatre. That's where he's going to be from the 20th of December till the 26th of January. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. It was lovely to see you. See you. Thank you. Right after the break, can you believe?